You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bat. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the A. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos, man. Hey, look, we back with another Nukes Top 5, man. But you know what I need from you, man. I need you to drop with you in the chat or in the comment section. Let me know that you rocking with me, man. You know what I'm saying? But we got uh, Top 5 Scary Ghost videos that will flip your wig. Let's go ahead and get it, man. I'm excited, man. Not really, a little bit. Fire Squad, what's poppin'? Let's get it. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Light and shadow. The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigation Team goes to investigate the allegedly haunted Old Nevada State Prison. The prison was built in 1862 and is the oldest prison in the western United States. It was wow. also the site of the world's very first gas chamber. What? The prison was closed in 2012, but over its 150 year history, it housed some of the roughest and most violent prisoners in the world. And the Nevada State Prison was said to be even more brutal than its inmates. Hundreds of prisoners lost their lives inside these walls. So, not surprisingly, the prison is said to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of angry former inmates. The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations team, Patrick and Jason, head into the old Nevada State Prison to investigate the reports of supernatural activity. And they soon find that those reports just might be true. As the guys start their investigation, they are using a spirit box in an attempt to communicate with any ghost that might be present. They almost immediately- Hey, I'm getting chills already. I'm getting chills already, man. This shit about to be crazy, bro. <sighs> Let's go. You begin to hear some strange sounds down an empty hallway. So Patrick simply asks, who's down there? expecting to get a response from his spirit box. But he gets a very different reply. Hello? Who's back there? Did you hear me? No. I heard me. I so... What was that? I swear I heard me. Patrick actually seems to receive a real life answer to his question in a raspy voice that comes from somewhere in the darkness. Who's back there? The guys move on and start to explore the prison, but there are more unexplained sounds. What the hell was that, dude? What was that? Where is that coming from? And then, their creepy encounters inside the prison start to get a bit more physical. This? It did. It's not windy outside, no. dude. It is not. Dude, what was that? Like the door tried to shut on me. Dude. It, did you hear it? I heard it. it. Oh, Jesus. Should have done that. 
Patrick? Yeah. Oh, dude. I was coming out of that door, and uh, something pushed it back into me. Something in the prison seems to literally be trying to shut the guys out. But regardless, the haunted side guys continue their investigation. Fuck that. And this is when things get really weird. Jason is casually filming Patrick as he walks down one of the prison hallways. In order to try to provoke some sort of supernatural activity, Patrick is acting as if he is a new inmate who just arrived at the Nevada State Prison. And then, this happens. Bro, they about to close. It's about to close the door on them or something? I'm the newest prisoner. Which cell's mine? Did you see it? Even though the bright light shining on Patrick from the camera doesn't change at all, some odd black shadow suddenly envelops most of Patrick's body, blocking out the light. The Haunted Side team only noticed this strange light anomaly after reviewing their video later. There is no logical explanation as to why Patrick would suddenly be covered in darkness, even though a bright camera light is shining directly at him. So, did the Haunted Side guys actually encounter the ghosts of angry inmates that still haunt the Nevada State Prison? And if not, just what happened to the light in this disturbing shot? Let me know what you think. You can check out all of The Haunted Side's creepy paranormal investigations over on their YouTube channel, The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations. Watch your head. I Two friends in Japan are out to explore an eerie bridge that locals claim to be extremely haunted. The very high bridge has unfortunately become a place where distressed people come to tragically end their lives. Damn. It is said that several people jump from this bridge every year, and because of these tragic events, a fence had to be built above the bridge guardrails. The two wow. investigators have heard the stories of the paranormal activity that supposedly takes place on the bridge, and out of curiosity, they decide to investigate. As they walk over the bridge, they record video and snap a few photos. What happens next is downright chilling. They are shocked when they see that in one of their photos, the investigator's head is missing. So could the explorers on the bridge have been cursed by an angry spirit? And why is just this guy's head missing from the photo? I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch this full video and many more creepy Japanese hauntings over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. 
If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I think I saw it. The YouTube channel Equilibrium Collective says that one of their viewers caught a very disturbing clip on their home security camera. We've received this video from one of our viewers. The lady's identity is obscured for her privacy. There are a few dust particles floating about. But what is this? Did you see? Did you see it? Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you see it? Anyway, a creepy translucent mist seems to rise from the chair and pass right in front of the camera. And then a smaller mist seems to shoot back in the opposite direction. So is this something paranormal? Or could it simply be explained away as some very odd natural phenomena? You decide. Be sure to check out the channel Equilibrium Collective with hosts Carrie Ann and Sarah that. for live weekly podcasts about all things paranormal. Hider in the halls. Popular urban explorer Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore another strange location, the abandoned Central High School in Cleveland, Ohio. The large building was built back in 1940 but eventually severe structural damage made the school too unsafe for students. It was closed down in 2013. Today, yeah. Central High School just sits rotting away after years of neglect. Now many believe that the 80-year-old abandoned school is haunted by the ghosts of former students and faculty. However, YouTuber Urbex Hill is more worried about real people that might be lurking or even living inside the old high school. During his exploration, Chris is descending a staircase when something chills him to the core. By yourself, bro? You still going down? Yeah, turn around, bro. He going He hears the sound of something falling and then being dragged across the floor. When he looks up, what appears to be either a chair or a school desk seems to have been pushed through the stairs railing, dangerously close to falling. What? Chris suspects that he might not be alone and decides to make his way towards the exit. But it's not over just yet. Why is he in there by himself? I hear something. What the f is that? Someone's upstairs. After something is thrown from one of the upper floors, almost hitting Chris he decides to just get out of there. Later, when Chris uploads his exploration video to YouTube, viewers of his channel are quick to point out that someone or something got a lot closer to him than he even realized. Take a very close look. Did you see it? No. Nah. A mysterious dark figure can be seen hiding behind a pillar in the school's locker room. 
Chris has no idea what he just captured and actually enters the locker room and walks right by. But there's no one there. And Urbex Hill's exploration only gets creepier as he's investigating one of the upper floor hallways. Again, take a very close look. I got chills, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. What appears to be the same mysterious figure from earlier can what be seen quickly darting out of sight behind one of the classroom doors. So, was something following Chris throughout the school without him knowing? Is Central High School actually haunted? Or was Chris just scared away by an angry homeless squatter? Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch Christopher Hill's full exploration of the abandoned school and many more of Cleveland's creepy historic locations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Meanwhile, Hell, on TikTok. TikToker TikTok. days in, nights out says that he works the overnight shift in what he believes to be a very haunted hotel. Okay, so I'm sitting here behind the desk and it's been quiet up till now, but I just heard something. So of course, since I'm responsible here for tonight, I have to go and figure out what exactly it was. I just, I just literally heard something like, and I immediately turned on the, the hell? Okay, so that wasn't there before, but okay. Okay, let's let's not. You know what? You can have. Hey, yo, that nigga said okay. <laughs> okay, he said all right. That's enough. Have the place. He says that the fourth floor is under renovations, so there are no guests on that floor. He also says that that fourth floor is the most supernaturally active. Late one night, he decides to record himself as he explores that one very haunted floor okay i'm going <sighs> something okay clear okay i'm going back downstairs and i don't think i'm ever going to come up here again <sighs> oh my god oh my god oh god that's fucking hit stop recording damn it I was not even paying attention to where I was going. I ran past the damn stairs. Tripping. We're not gonna... Oh, sh Did you hear it? As TikToker days in, nights out is exploring the fourth floor, a strange whispering or hissing voice can be heard that seems to be following him as he walks. Yeah, I heard okay. that Clear. Okay, I'm going back downstairs and I don't think I'm ever gonna come up here again. So did TikToker days in nights out catch real paranormal activity in a haunted hotel? Or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. In this next video, TikTok user Fernando Victor Olive is working the night shift with his fellow workers at a train yard. Around 3.30 a.m., he decides to record a few videos to show what the night shift at the train yard is like. But after he uploads the videos, his viewers notice something in one of the clips. Something shocking. It looks as if someone is standing in one of the train doors. Now again, this train is locked and parked in the train yard in the middle of the night. It is supposed to be completely empty. So who? Or what is this? Now what makes this video even more compelling is the fact that Fernando has never posted any other video related to the paranormal on his TikTok. So could this figure be something supernatural? Or could it just be a very strange trick of the light? You decide. 
All right, that was Nuke's top five, five scary ghost videos that will flip your wig. That was kind of creepy. That was kind of creepy, man. Uh, but I feel like I'm getting better. If you go back and watch like some of my first reactions to the scary stuff, I could barely get through it. Eyes watering up. I get chills now, you know what I'm saying? But I be probing to see like, is this really real or not? But man, if you made it to the end, I need you to drop a real one in the chat for your boy, man. Salute to all the real ones out there, man. But you already know, man, self love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.